Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Google released the March 2022 security update and feature drop for Pixel devices. However, they did not release it for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So for some reason, just like they did a couple months ago, they've delayed it for the 6 and 6 Pro. This is something I think they really should fix as anyone with a flagship device shouldn't really have to wait compared to any of the other devices for their updates. Hopefully one day Android will come out at the same time for everyone, but right now we'll have to wait for the 6 and 6 Pro. Now I installed it on the 5A 5G since it is available for that right now. And this was a pretty large update at 389 megabytes. I took this screenshot while installing it and typically they're around 10 to 20 megabytes lately. So this is a pretty large or significant update with quite a few bug fixes, the feature drop of course, and security updates and more. Now, as far as the build number, you can see it here, it's 12 sp2a.220305.012. So this particular update, like I said, includes a feature drop. However, not all of the feature drop features have rolled out yet and they're not available for all devices. So hopefully we'll see that maybe rolled out pretty quickly, but right now they're not available for everything, but there are quite a few I can share with you. Now, the first one has to do with your different wallpapers. Every month they update a wallpaper under the culture section or curated culture, and you'll see wallpaper and style. This was the last one I said, it just showed up like this. It will change instantly and then we can change back. That's not something I've seen before. Maybe you have, but I haven't seen it but that's something that I think is a little bit new. And if we go under wallpaper and style and go to change wallpaper under curated culture for international women's day, we have three new wallpapers and you can see the first one here. They add three every time. This one is called light and it says this illustration celebrates female friendships and how they can be our light in the dark illustrated by Menjit Thap. And hopefully I'm saying that properly. And I'll just briefly show you the other two. You can look at these once you update as well, but you'll see here's one called bonds. And then we go back and the next one you'll see here is called inner fire. So there's those three they've added and they update them every single month. So that's always nice to get those for free built into every single update. The next thing they've updated is at a glance. So if we press and hold, go to home settings, you can see here we have at a glance. So we have at a glance and you've got your timer and stopwatch and more, and then more ways to customize. They've updated this with some new features and the new features they've helped updated is it will show you the battery level of paired Bluetooth services, earthquake alerts, and safety check countdowns from the personal safety app. Also, it has a prompt to turn off an alarm the next day if there's a holiday. So if tomorrow's maybe Christmas, it may prompt you to turn off your alarm if you have it set just to make sure that you don't have to wake up super early. So you'll have that option. Not everything is here. You can see this is what I currently have alerts and commute and time to leave things like that. But those new features are rolling out slowly. Maybe they're waiting to fully push those out when the six and six pro updates drop. Now, the next thing is a new battery widget. This is something that I don't have on my devices yet, unfortunately. So if we go to home settings or rather go back, go to widgets. If you go down, we should have a system area where there's a battery widget. The battery widget is not available yet. However, it is showing on the pixel feature drop website. So we'll just scroll down and I'll show you that. We'll scroll to where it is here. So we'll give it just a moment. And you can see here is where the widget is. So it says go to settings services. I don't have that section yet, but there's a new widget for battery. So it will tell you the levels of your device as well as the levels of any connected device, as long as it's supported. So it won't work with things like AirPods, but it will work with pixel buds, for example. So those things should work in this update. There's also custom stickers as well. If you're using messages. So if you go into messages and type maybe happy birthday, again, this is something I'm not seeing directly. Hopefully they'll update it soon with Gboard. But what happens if you type happy birthday, Aaron, and maybe put an emoji there, typically what would happen is right after that, it will show you some stickers that it's customized with the word happy birthday, Aaron. So it will give you custom stickers based on what you've typed here. That's something again, that's in the feature drop that I'm not seeing yet. I tried it, but it's not working yet for me. Also, they've added call wait times within the phone app from the three a all the way to the six and six pro, as well as direct my call. 
So you have all of those things on the older devices, but on a six and six pro there's additional features as well. So those are the features from the pixel three a to the five a five G, but there's additional features for the pixel six and six pro once it rolls out. So I wanted to share some of those with you. The first one is night sight within Snapchat. So it's built right into the app on a pixel device. Once the features rolled out and available to everyone. Also, you have the option to communicate with captions. This is a great idea. And and this allows you for people who can't or prefer not to speak on calls. It gives you a way to communicate using text where it will actually read your captions back to them. So it will interpret what they're saying, show you a caption, or you can hear it. And then you can text back and it will read that back to the person you're speaking to. I think that's a great idea for someone that just can't speak at the moment or doesn't have the option to. So that's something that they've added. And I think it's a great addition. Additionally, there's live translate on the pixel six and six pro, which allows you to communicate seamlessly with captions back and forth with Spanish, Italian, and French, as well as English. So it should make it a little bit easier to speak back and forth if you want to use that option. Additionally, recorder gets an update. So if you're using the recorder app, it looks more along the lines of the material you design. That's something that's new. And on the pixel six and six pro, it can also transcribe Italian and Spanish now where it couldn't do that before. So if you've never used this, you go to the transcript, it works really well to transcribe or understand exactly what you're saying when you're speaking. So that's something they've updated with this update. Google assistant also gains quick phrases on the pixel six and six pro and supports Spanish, Italian, and French. So maybe an alarm is going off. You can just say stop or a timer's going off. Same thing. You can say stop instead of saying Google and then Hey in front of it or more advanced phrases. Now in this update, there are a ton of resolved issues and improvements. So I'm not going to go over them individually because there's 84 total of them. So as you can see here, What's included everything from audio fixes and you'll see it says fixes and improvements for audio playback issues in certain apps, battery and power, general improvements for battery and thermal performance in certain conditions. And you'll see a number next to them. Two generally means pixel six and six pro one means everything. And then it's sort of broken down below. Now biometrics, everything from an improvement to the fingerprint sensor and the face scanning ability on the pixel four and four XL. Bluetooth fixes, camera fixes, display and graphics, frameworks, sensors, system, telephony, touch. So fingerprint sensor again, and then for user interface, there are 43 specific updates. So everything from fix for issue causing certain home screen icons to appear misaligned in certain conditions. So you can see all of them here. I'll link this in the description below, but I didn't want to go through them one by one because there's so many of them. And again, they're just resolving a ton of issues and hopefully they roll this out to the pixel six and six pro soon as it resolves issues on this by far the most. Now, in addition to this, there's security updates as well. Now in previous videos, I've broken them down by category this time around, there are 41 specific to pixel and 40 for Android. So 81 total security updates for this update. So this is a major update. And if you're wondering if you should install it when it's available, you absolutely should install it, especially if you're on a pixel six or six pro as that is the device that seems to get the most fixes. And some people have even left pixel six and six pro because they've had issues issues from everything from the fingerprint sensor to just overall usability. So they've resolved a lot of those issues in the March update and feature drop. So I can't wait for everyone to get that and try that out. As far as overall performance and everything, well, since they've enhanced so many things with this update, the performance seems to be pretty smooth on this device. I can't test it on the newer one yet, but it seems to be generally very smooth without any problems. And I would expect battery life to improve over the next few days as well, since we're going to get that battery widget and battery enhancements and bug fixes and more. So it looks like they've fixed an awful lot of issues in this particular update. And so that's everything in the March, 2022 security update. Now, if you've found anything I haven't mentioned, or you'd like to see anything different in these videos in the future, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.